Good afternoon, everyone. Have you ever seen a puffer fish blows up itself? It's a very amazing process. When they get scared, they blow up themselves into a balloon shape to protect themselves. And today, I'm going to tell you mitochondria change the shape in danger, too. Mitochondria are the cells transformer. They're the chemical transformer because they convert our food into a chemical form of energy for our cells to use. They are also the mechanical transformer because they change into little different shapes according to different cell conditions. So the shape of mitochondria is regulated by two processes which we call fission and fusion. Fission is when one mitochondria separates into two, and fusion, on the other hand, is when two merge into one. Fission and fusion are very important for transportation of mitochondria within the cell, and also replacement of damaged mitochondria. In the brain, this is particularly important. Without the supply of energy from healthy mitochondria, Neurons won't be able to communicate with each other, and you won't be able to listen to me right now. And losing the connection between new ones can result in Alzheimer's disease, a disease that makes you lose your memory and brain function gradually. So how do we study mitochondria? With fluorescent proteins, we can highlight mitochondria inside the cell under the microscope. So you can see that in normal condition, they're in tubular shape, and during cell death, they transform into ball shape, just like a puffer fish. But different from a puffer fish, these mitochondria, they're not healthy. So for a long period of time, we thought, if we see that there's a change in shape, then that means that mitochondria are not working properly. But today, I'm introducing a new class of mitochondria to you all. In my study, I found that at early stage of Alzheimer's disease, when neurons are stressed and struggle to survive, mitochondria change into granular shape. So even though there's a change in shape, these mitochondria are still functioning well. So this new type of mitochondria is different from one mitochondria in cell death. However, the change in shape can affect the ability to spot inside the cell, and therefore, this is when we start to lose our memory. So at last, please allow me to conclude my talk today by using today's theme, 3MT. So M and T stand for mitochondria as a transformer in cell. And I've introduced you three different types of mitochondria, tubular in normal conditions, granular in early Alzheimer's disease, and ground shape in cell death. Thank you very much.